There's very little that I can really say. Tomodoto summed it up when he came back to the podium after the president had spoken and he said, amazing. Because that's what this evening is all about. In an informal research study, though, it was shown that two of the most affirming words in the English language are thank you because of the positive energy that they generate. I therefore feel extremely privileged to have been given this role this evening and the added honor of handing over a gift to the president. For surely everyone, even presidents, enjoy gifts. <laughs> However, thank you remains just two words until someone gives meaning to it. So let me try for a little bit of added value. Firstly, on behalf of all of us, on behalf of the Principal and Vice-Chancellor of UNISA, and on behalf of the UNISA community, I want to thank His Excellency, President Gisano, for sharing his insights into the impact that, and I quote him, the noble ideas of Steve Biko have made, but more importantly, can still continue to make to the growth, development, and progress of Africa. Your Excellency, your role in Africa's renaissance is well known. And this evening, you have honored both the person who was born to Stephen Biko, as well as his spirit. You brought Steve Biko and his philosophy back to life with a sense of realism and honesty. And especially, I believe, we will agree with the later observations that you made about South Africa's rainbow, or lack thereof. <laughs> Thank you sincerely, sincerely, Your Excellency. And UNISA is very proud to now be able to call you a true friend of the university. Ladies and gentlemen, it is always a great honor for UNISA when we can host and enjoy the company of South Africa's preeminent family. <coughs> to the Biko family present this evening, and to the CEO and to the board members of the Steve Biko Foundation, this evening has been a very special one for us. And we want to thank you for sharing your time and the name and the life of Steve Biko with us. We hope that this relationship will grow in strength and that together we will bring the legend of Steve Biko and other iconic South Africans back to life. To our host, our host this evening, the Principal and Vice-Chancellor of UNISA, Professor Makanya, I read somewhere that leadership is the ability to translate vision into reality. This evening, UNISA hosts the 16th annual Steve Biko Lecture. And I believe, Professor Makanya, that you can be justifiably proud of the reality that has emerged from when you first discussed this commemoration event. We know that yours is not an easy job, and in the recent climate of protest in the sector, I'm actually reminded of a story about a, an oldish mother who went to wake her young son up who was sleeping. And shaking him by the shoulder, she said to him, Wake up, son, it's time to go to school. And he replied, But why, mom? I don't want to go. And she said to him, Give me two reasons why you don't want to go to school. And he said, For one, the children hate me, 
And second, the teachers hate me. Well, that's no reason not to go to school. Come on, get ready and off you go. And he said to her, well, you give me two reasons why I should go to school. Hmm. And she said, because firstly, you're 55 years old, and second, you're the principal. So <laughs> I really, really hope, notwithstanding what's happening in the center, you don't have those more names. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a very special person who walks the road with the principal in ensuring the success of this evening has been my colleague and friend, Professor Somadota Fikeni, our program director. He was the project leader, and you will agree with me that Professor Fikeni deserves a special thank you for the slick, professional, and generally thoroughly enjoyable evening. Thank you so much. And knowing him, I know that he will say to me, but Dibs, it was a team effort. And so to his special team who worked behind the scenes to ensure the success of this evening, we thank all of you as well. And we also thank I do especially want to thank the South African government for assisting in managing the President's visit. Mm. But most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, to you, to you and to all the members of the media who are with us, we truly value your presence and the fact that you came out and joined us on this very special evening. As my father taught me growing up, Steve Biko is an icon. And this evening, I am, and Eunice is, proud to contribute to keeping alive his thoughts, his ideology, and his remarkable vision. Thank you all so very, very much. Thank you for attending the 16th annual Steve Biko Memorial Lecture and please travel home safely. <laughs>